All right, so welcome to the first video of the Start With Stock series with me, your host, Samuel Elkins. Uh, first things first, we're gonna be talking about integrating and uploading your own stock photography to Adobe Stock website. A common misconception is that you need a certain kind of photography to upload to stock, and it's actually not the case. You can really upload anything that you want because you never know what someone's going to need down the road if they want you know, a really random photo that you took of a street sign or you know, a photo of a sandwich that you made. I'm a big believer in taking photos of everything and just you know, snapping tidbits throughout your life. It doesn't need to be shot with a high quality camera necessarily. Even shooting with a mobile phone is sometimes good enough. So I would encourage all of you guys to kind of go through your camera roll, see the photos that you've already shot and consider uploading them to a website like Adobe Stock. I think Adobe Stock is also a great way to get into the stock world because it's so easy and simple to use. It's a great way to just make some side income. So what we're gonna do today is show you guys some of the photos that I've picked that I'm going to be uploading to my Adobe Stock account, showing you how to categorize everything and upload right from Lightroom. Okay, so over here we have our three photos that we are going to publish. Down here you see the Adobe Stock published services. Uh, there's Facebook, there's Flickr, there's a bunch of different other services that you could click. Um, but we're just gonna focus on these three photos right here. These are photos that I took in Banff National Park. Uh, they're landscape photos, so very easy to license. There's nothing in these photos that, you know, is other people's property. So that makes it super easy and simple. Um, this is actually an Emerald Lake in British Columbia. So I'm gonna take these photos here, I'm gonna select all of them, and it's literally as easy as just clicking publish right here. And then you'll see up in the top left corner, it's already updating the published collections to the Adobe Stock website. Once all these photos are uploaded, we can hop right over to the Adobe Stock website and start naming and categorizing all these images. So as you can see here, as the photos are getting published, right down here it says published photos. Um, it's going to continue to publish all three of these images up to the Adobe Stock website. Okay, so now once all these images have been uploaded, we get a notification on the screen that says, go to Adobe Stock to complete your submission and start selling. That's where we wanna go next. So we're gonna click yes, and then it automatically takes us right to the Adobe Stock website. And now, as you can see here, we have all three of these images. So first things first, we're gonna start by categorizing all of these. So we'll go one image at a time. Um, first thing it says is, is, is there any recognizable people or property? No, um, that's why landscape images are nice and easy. If you have photos of other people's property or photos uh, with actual humans in the photo, um, you need to get uh, a license so that you have the rights to sell that photo on a stock website. We're gonna type the title here. We're gonna say Emerald Lake Trail. It includes the location. It also includes you know uh, the trail so that you know People can search trail. Uh, we might even include like British Columbia, Canada. All of those words are kind of key words. And then down here at the bottom, we can actually add even more of these. So it already has predetermined uh, words for us to use. Mountain, landscape, forest, nature, mountains. Um, and it already adds all these other ones as well. Trees, green, pine, travel. All of these are great. I think I'm going to add Canada in there as well. And then also Emerald Lake just in case someone wants to get really specific and they want to find this exact photo of this exact lake in Canada, you never know. So it's better to just be way, way more thorough than you think you need to be. The file type is photos, categories, landscapes, writing title and keywords in English. And then now we're gonna to go to the next photo over here, recognizable people or property, again, no. And then also we're gonna say Emerald Lake, trees, foreground. This kind of states that, you know, there's trees in the foreground, but you can see the lake through the trees and the mountain is in the background. So if someone was looking for this kind of image, it also is really important to upload stock photos um, with kind of like a graphic design eye in mind, I personally believe. You know, I'll, a lot of these photos have a lot of negative space, which is great for putting text on these images, as well as, you know, just a lot of a lot of room to work with for, from a designer's perspective. You know, if someone were to purchase this and, you know, make like a brochure or use it on a website, they might want to add some sort of design elements on top of this photo. Uh, or any of these photos, so it's important to have photos with negative space. We're gonna add this at the bottom here with Canada again, and then Emerald Lake next. Boom, get high keywords. Again, photos and landscapes, English, super easy. The third and final photo here, we're going to hit no, and then we're gonna go in here, type Emerald Lake canoe. So this is a photo taken from the actual canoe at this lake. Um, it's more of like a water level perspective rather than you know kind of farther away as the other two photos were. And the other photo didn't even have the lake in it at all. It's just at the trailhead. So we got the trailhead, we have a photo of the lake, and now we have one at about eye level, which is great. 
And then I'm gonna add canoe here at the bottom and then Canada. So now we're gonna click all three of these images. We can click select all here. And then all we do at the bottom here, submit for approval. Submit. And now we are done. So at the top here, you're also gonna to need to add all of your tax information and all that stuff. But for the most part, it's really simple and easy to upload right from Lightroom to the Adobe Stock website. Make sure to tune in tomorrow. I'm going to be covering integrating stock photo and video content into your own personal content. That could be photos or videos. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you later.